up everybody? This is Scooter from Electrek and today I have the Raldi MTV3 electric longboard. Now this is a beginner board, but it still goes 28 miles per hour. So let's test it out and see if we can get it up to that speed. Unpacking was easy since the MTV3 comes in a simple package for a beginner board. It includes a charger, remote, instructions, and all the tools you need to adjust your trucks and wheels. For this review, I also got to try out the Cloud Wheel Donut Sleeves from Raldi, which were delivered separately, but more on those later. My first impression of the board was how simple the design was, but still offered great quality. The bamboo Canadian maple board was given T6 heat treatment, offering strength while still being able to bend, despite having one solid piece battery pack, as opposed to the accordion style. It still offers great support, and the grip tape dotting the cool Raldi logo ensured I wasn't going anywhere. Speaking of battery packs, the MTV3 has a 10S3P modular battery pack that delivers 7.2 amp hours of power to two 1500 watt max power motors in the rear. With a rated power of 900 watts in each motor, the MTV3 longboard offers a range up to 12 miles depending how you use it. The remote was easy to charge and figure out how to operate, although I was a little confused by the reverse button on the right at first because it actually controls the speed modes. I actually wasn't able to figure out any reverse function on the board, so I'm not sure why that's on the remote. The remote itself has your basic functions, up for forward, back for brakes. The MTV3 comes in four speed modes. There's low mode, which is eight miles per hour. I found it perfect for riding around my apartment complex and through parking lots or crowded areas. There's mid mode, which gets up to about 16 miles per hour. That's where I spent most of my time cruising around town. It's fast enough to flow with traffic on side streets, but I also didn't feel like I was going to hurt myself if I took a spill. Then there's high mode, which gets up to 29 miles per hour. I actually only got it to 28 miles per hour briefly. Then there's pro mode. This is still a top speed of 29 miles per hour, but with maximum torque. I really only use pro mode for that extra oomph to get up inclines on steep hills and such. For my first ride on the MTV3, I stuck with the 97mm polyester urethane wheels, or PUs, that come standard on the board. The PU wheels are designed to be durable and tear resistant, and they are. My issue is that they didn't absorb much of their terrain, so if you're on streets that haven't been paved recently, these wheels can give you the speed you desire, but it may be a bumpier ride. As a result of all the vibrations, my feet started to get numb after about 20 minutes of riding. As I mentioned, part of my review included a pair of Cloud Wheel Donut sleeves as an upgrade. At 105 millimeters, these wheels are larger in diameter and have a multi-step tread pattern opposed to the smooth texture of the PU wheels. The result is more of an all-terrain wheel that offers more support over harsher terrain like bumps and potholes. That said, this is still very much a street skateboard, even with the wheels upgrade. Swapping out the PUs for the cloud wheels was a relatively easy process. I swapped the front wheels first, which were a breeze, making sure to keep track of the washer and nut already on each wheel, while properly swapping out the bearings. The rear sleeves is where things got a bit trickier for me. Getting the rear casing and sleeve off was the easy part, but correctly lining up the five pins in the cloud wheel with the holes in the motor was easier said than done. I found that even if I lined up all five pins correctly, at least one of them wouldn't screw right back in. Thanks to a little editing magic, however, this looks like a quick swap, but this rear assembly took me at least 20 minutes alongside a couple of spurts of rated R language. Overall, the ride of the MTV3 is amazing for a beginner board. I didn't have to adjust the trucks at all and immediately felt comfortable on the board, especially turning, which could sometimes take some getting used to. This is definitely a great board for people who like to cruise around and carve at medium to high speeds, as long as you're not planning to ride on anything softer than paved roads, sidewalks, or compact dirt. Despite the cloud wheels being branded as all-terrain, this is not an all-terrain board. I tested the MTV3 and the cloud wheels on grass and had little success. Yes, it moved, but I averaged about 3 miles per hour. Same went for compact mulch, which had fared a bit better. Loose mulch, however, stopped the board in its tracks. But that's the case for most skateboards in my experience. Raldi promises a max climbing grade of 30%, but I got it up steeper hills than that, especially with a full battery. For those tougher hills, however, I had to switch to pro mode for max torque and usually had to do a kickstart or have some previous momentum going into the hill to keep the board from stalling out. One day, I took it up a decently steep hill whose pavement looked like crocodile skin just to see how the board would handle. As you can see, I made it up to the top, but I only got up to about 10 miles per hour, even on pro mode. The most impressive function on the MTV3 from my experience was its braking capabilities. 
When you pull that trigger back, the MTV3 stops, no matter the decline. This gave me a lot more confidence riding down steeper hills as I felt completely in control of my speed. Overall, the Raldi MTV3 is a quality beginner electric longboard that should be considered for anyone looking to ride on smooth pavement. The battery and dual motors give you plenty of speed that is broken up into different experience levels, and the brakes are top notch. I highly recommend springing for the Cloud Wheel Donut upgrade to take some of the vibration off your feet. It makes a huge difference. The MTV3 is currently available on the Raldi website for $449, $588 with the Cloud Wheel upgrade. Check out the purchase link in the description below and use promo code SCOOTERDOLL for $10 off your purchase. If you enjoyed this video, why not give it a like? And remember to subscribe to the Electric YouTube for all the latest news and reviews in the electric mobility world. Remember to wear a helmet, even if it looks dorky. And I'll catch you on the next one.